many times in your life has somebody offered you that well-meaning piece of advice that you should just be yourself? How many times have you said it to somebody else? One of your kids comes to you or one of your team comes to you and they tell you they're nervous, they're scared, they have to go and do something and their ball goes. And you say to them, darling, just be yourself. Because when you're yourself, you're fabulous. Gandhi was getting on a train and a journalist called after him, Gandhiji, Gandhiji, what's your message to the world? And Gandhi turned around and said, my life, my life's my message. And your life is your message too. Might not be as big a message as Gandhi's might certainly is. But your life has to be your message. Otherwise, why are you here? It's not like you've got a spare. So when you think about your identity, when you think about what it means to be alive, when you think about why you deserve to exist, you're not your thoughts because you think them. And you can't be your feelings because otherwise who's the you that feels them? You know what you have, you know what you do, you know even who you love or who loves you. There has to be something underneath all that. And when you look at remarkable individuals, and when I say remarkable or successful individuals, I don't mean monetarily successful. I mean people that have been successful that achieve whatever they set out to do. You'll find that the thing they have in common is they have nothing in common. Because when it comes to being yourself, needing other people's approval, loving somebody else's opinion and mistaking it for you, one of the most debilitating things you'll do on the road to being yourself. You will never, ever be perception less. It's important to be perception free. Nobody in the world has had the same experiences or influences that you have. But this is the you that keeps moving, that keeps changing all the time. And it helps you avoid being one of those people. You know the people that say to you that you're